Hi, hello everyone. Welcome back to my uh, class series on biology for engineers 21 BE 45. My name is Dr. Prasad Patilam. I am completing, uh, going to complete uh, this entire uh, video class on biology for engineers. The remaining is the uh, question bank. Question bank I will prepare and attach. I am not taking separate class for that because it is the same repetition of uh, uh, class videos it will be so separate uh, module uh, module wise uh, object type sorry uh, the question bank uh, as well as uh, the answer scheme also will be added along with that so in my previous class i explained it till uh, electrical tongue and electrical nose in uh, food science this class at a stretch i am completing dna origami biocomputing which are two different terms actually bioimaging and the importance of artificial intelligence for uh, disease diagnosis in self-healing bioconcrete and bioremediation biomining removal of uh, metals example i am giving okay so remaining everything i explained already in my previous note so this is the last uh, video of uh, uh, module 5 as well as last video of uh, this particular class series so all the notes are available now uh, module 1 to module 5 it is available uh, moving to the topic okay the modules notes are available you can contact me on payment basis each module i am giving charging 10 rupees each or you can pay me 40 rupees at a stretch and uh, get all the files so that is the rate i am uh, giving this note so where we reached okay our food science even these are all already complete in previous class now reached to the uh, Final topics 5.8 DNA origami. Oh, origami, DNA origami, it is a uh, so origami you might have heard uh, that uh, that paper uh, folding and making that uh, bird as a particular bird, origami bird. So that that concept term only used this DNA origami. Folding the DNA molecules. Okay, so DNA is a long uh, molecule with a double strand, uh, two RNA molecule and those uh, phosphate groups and uh, all those things okay biology i'm not going in detail okay so a single stranded dna molecule it can be folded in many many ways okay just a thread you can fold in many ways okay based on that folding uh, based on the availability of the functional group of dna it can be used for many applications so this is a very important topic uh, for uh, the bio biotechnologist or uh, people who are working in this field how it can control the folding, how it can be folded and kept in a stable state so that it can be used. Okay, the first DNA origami structure were developed in the mid 2000 and since then the technique has been widely used in variety of applications including the creation of nanoscaled structures because the size of DNA you know is very small. Even if you fold also it is still it comes under the nanoscale uh, 10 to the power minus 9 meter. And the study of molecular interactions, development of a new drug delivery system, etc. All these applications it is used. Okay, so the some of the key ways in which DNA origami can impact the technology are explained here. Nanoscale manufacturing uh, for application in electronics, photonics, and other material science. Drug delivery. Drug delivery means the drug content, how it can be delivered to the body part where it is certainly needed. So, it can be the DNA origami, the structure can be used as a vehicle to take the drug particle uh, to the place where it has to be exactly uh, needed, not spreading throughout our body. Where it is needed, there it will go and deliver. Then it is used, it can be used in uh, many biosensors because DNA, DNA can be used as a, it can detect uh, many other biological molecules. It can be used in uh, biomedical imaging, imaging applications. Uh, high resolution images can be taken gene therapy uh, uh, to target uh, the cells or deliver therapeutic genes to those cells it can be used as a biocatalyst catalyst is the one which increases the rate of a reaction without participating therefore a biocatalyst it will increase the reaction uh, bio uh, reactions it acts as a catalyst then patterning nano patterning Mm, then advantages of DNA origami, uh, we have a better programmability, we can program, we have the better control, versatile, we have making a, 
அவர் ஓன் செப்பரேட் அது வெரி யூனிக் ஷேப் த்ரீ டி ஸ்ட்ரக்சர்ஸ் விச் கேன் பி யூஸ்டு ஃபார் வேரியஸ் வேரியஸ் அப்ளிகேஷன்ஸ் ஹை ப்ரொசிஷன் இஸ் பாசிபிள் வித் டிஎன்ஏ ஒரு எக்ஸாமே த மெத்தட் விச் இஸ் யூஸ்டு ஃபங்க்ஷனாலிட்டி டிஃப்ரெண்ட் ஃபங்க்ஷனல் மொலிக்கூல் கேன் பி ஆடட் ஆர் இட் கேன் பி யூஸ்டு ப்ரோட்டீன்ஸ் அனோ பார்ட்டிகல்ஸ் அதர் நியூக்ளியஸ் விச் மேக் தம் யூஸ்ஃபுல் ஃபார் வெரைட்டி ஆஃப் அப்ளிகேஷன் அண்ட் தே ஆர் காம்பேட்டபிள் டிஎன்ஏ ஆல்ரெடி காம்பேட்டபிள் வித் அவர் பாடி த ஃபோர் டிஎன்ஏ த ஃபோல்டர் ஷேப் ஆஃப் டிஎன்ஏ வில் ஆல்சோ பி வெரி மச் compatible uh, limitations it is very complex cost effectiveness because you need to separate or synthesize the dna which is needed stability issues still we are not attained the stable uh, origami structures scalability means large scale production of the product which is prepared all these are some of the limitations that we are still researchers are facing on now next one bio computing bio computing Okay, better to put a line there. Biocomputing, uh, it refers to the biological system which uses enzymes and DNA for computing and information processing. Technological importance because many biomolecules, they store information because we know that uh, we store information, uh, that is biomolecule we have. So they store information, the same can be used uh, uh, not only in our bio system, it can also be used, tried to use uh, to store the other information so if you are using uh, this bio molecules uh, or bio computing uh, the computation power uh, bio computer system has the potential to provide new levels of computational power as they can perform complex task and calculation using biological process data storage the best storage uh, alternative which is found it, that is dna dna can store as much information uh, as possible say an example given one uh, a uh, 215 petabytes of information one dna strand or one gram of dna can store that uh, it's around 1 billion gigabytes okay so we can guess how much uh, storage capacity the dna is having okay so our dna will only becomes a gene no? so a gene uh, from our information whatever information from a parent it goes to the next generation no? that much information it goes from one one single uh, dna that is a gene then it can be used for medical applications environmental monitoring all these are the importance of uh, bio computing okay so energy efficiency you now we can just go through it i'll, I'll go give the important flavor of uh, dna okay advantages uh, they are bio compatible they are having high energy efficiency the scalability is there we can produce large amount of robustness uh, it's faster and reliable um, system often more robust and reliable than traditional electronic system okay wherever by your computer i'm putting a line because i don't like this okay my one more okay okay so those are the advantages and limitations also mentioned the speed complexity reliability cost okay uh, speed uh, right now uh, the speed in which uh, you, are, you can you can store data very fast but getting back is very slow right now getting back the information from the dna so it is very slow process okay so that are the limitations reliability cost also and limitation then bio imaging it is use of uh, using different uh, techniques so straight away you go to the techniques uh, than wasting time we have many techniques uh, used uh, like x rays uh, ct scan mri pet scan uh, ultrasound or optical imaging uh, applications and which are the uh, analyzed structures x ray bone fracture lung condition etc and with the advantages and limitations also given you can go through it uh, there is nothing to explain as such that we are already we come across we know that these things just a comparison it is given now the importance uh, of technical importance of uh, bio imaging uh, don't get confused bio imaging means something else so this technique only it comes under bio imaging bio imaging uh, technologies it has got improved accuracy uh, early detection is possible the detection of what detection of disease uh, cost effectiveness is there uh, comparatively many other we, we have to compare uh, minimally invasive invasive means we don't need to cut no need of wound no need of surgery that is the meaning of uh, non invasive then improved patient outcome patients are satisfied uh, uh, with this uh, methods by imaging methods 
Some of the key advantages of uh, BioMedG, it is non-invasive, high resolution, early detection, multi okay, the same replication. Advantages and uh, technological importance, both are almost the same. Okay, let it be. Uh, I am not deleting it. Okay, so just let me correct it, otherwise I'll forget. Okay, uh, now artificial intelligence, uh, how the uh, new technological improvement has getting a uh, uh, further addition uh, or assisting uh, to the bioimagine technology artificial intelligence uh, uh, ai algorithm it can be used uh, with, along with x rays uh, ct scan mri it can be used for data analysis uh, it can be used for diagnosis personalized medicine uh, clinical decision support okay so nothing is simple uh, can read and uh, understand there's no complicated way personal medicine means uh, based on our personal uh, patients uh, requirement uh, we can uh, think about the medicine uh, the ai algorithm will search based on the people uh, based on the demand it will search uh, age everything factor it will uh, include and it will give it will give the personalized medicine uh, even uh, sometimes uh, we can avoid some cases we can avoid doctors if it is a general uh, general uh, cases which are already reported uh, throughout the world so many things reported means data is available so it only will the ai only will do the uh, diagnosis uh, limitations um, it has got ai has got uh, some of the limitation like a lack of understanding of the underlying algorithms uh, what algorithm which is used uh, what uh, ai tool is used uh, based on that uh, there will be a confusion uh, among uh, people using ai may get biased because uh, it will take the it will uh, give the result based on the data which is available if it is taking a data where um, many say x type of people are there then y type of people when comes uh, it may give a wrong uh, analysis so that only mentioned there uh, if uh, a male uh, population if a place where more male population is there there if uh, diagnosing condition of a woman uh, it will be a little bit uh, different uh, and vice versa like that uh, those uh, confusions uh, uh, still uh, ai has to overcome then uh, regulations uh, government uh, regulations uh, uh, using it in healthcare because if any mistake happens uh, if a doctor is there he can uh, check and uh, cure it ai simply give the result and it will uh, simply keep quiet uh, just like open chat gpt if you give a mistake if you ask whether is it a correct or wrong if it is a mistake say, sorry it's a mistake <laughs> Uh, we cannot do anything uh, we have to again ask again and get it done uh, the work okay so now self-healing bioconcrete uh, so, uh, self-healing bioconcrete it is a type of concrete which uh, incorporates microorganisms such as bacillus so along with the calcium lactate as nutrient source okay so self-healing uh, so better i'll explain with this word chart uh, it will be very easy okay so how to do this how this is working the self-healing concrete there is a bacteria which is known as bacillus bacteria and the calcium lactate these these bacteria and these molecules are mixed with the concrete okay so this bacteria it will be sleeping mode okay it will be there but not work in a working mode if a concrete gets any crack then crack means there will be entry of oxygen as well as water molecule will enter through the crack then the bacteria will become activated it will uh, produce a calcium carbonate those ca uh, with uh, by treating calcium lactate uh, calcium lactate will be converted into calcium carbonate calcium carbonate is the one which uh, can fill the crack and concrete is repaired and the structural integrity is restored so very simple concept okay self-healing bioconcrete um, work by incorporating bacillus bacteria the same thing is explained here Okay, uh, in addition to repairing the crack, the self-healing vaccine also has the potential to improve the overall durability of concrete by reducing the amount of water which is able to penetrate the surface. Okay, the technological importance, uh, increased durability, improved sustainability, reduced maintenance cost, increased uh, longevity, new applications like uh, uh, traditional compared to traditional concrete we can have uh, think about uh, new applications for uh, this type of uh, possibilities is there so we can think about uh, uh, newly new applications of the concrete 
reduce the carbon footprint the last topic that is bio remediation and um, in bio mining uh, to uh, similar but different concept which is used uh, mainly say given a topic uh, removal of uh, heavy metals like lead cadmium mercury and arsenic bio remediation actually that is uh, environmental friendly concept uh, removing the contaminants from the environment by using biomolecules or uh, supporting whereas bio mining uh, it is uh, mining means uh, taking out uh, digging out Okay. Bio mining it is a concept of uh, taking some metals from the earth and separating it out. Now how it can be used for the removal of heavy metals uh, like lead or uh, the contaminating, polluting lead and cadmium mercury, arsenic from the soil or water that is explained here. So bio remediation refers to using microorganism, plants or animals to clean up the contaminated environment whereas bio mining uh, it is mining only from the ore deposits taking out the metal required so the comparison is given here uh, for the removal of uh, metals as uh, uh, a comparison is given uh, to remove the neutralized pollutants contaminants from the environment that is bio remediation to extract valuable metals or minerals from ore that is bio mining so process it is given targeted contaminants uh, or uh, metals it is given microorganisms which are used that may explanation also given timeline for the result uh, it can take months to years for a significant uh, remediation means a significant cleaning uh, uh, removal or killing actually it is uh, destroying that uh, whatever matter it is destroyed and convert into some other uh, uh, harmless uh, product whereas uh, bio mining it's a quick result for metal extraction uh, application like soil water and air pollution remediation uh, that is cleaning mining operation for metal extraction now the process of uh, removing polluting heavy metal uh, the general explanation is given here as a heavy metal uh, removal identification of heavy metal contaminated site isolation and characterization of the metal resistant of lead okay so general i said uh, initially substitute for uh, uh, lead then uh, for uh, remaining metal almost same procedure i got so generalize the one then isolation and characterization first one identifying the site where we need to apply then uh, isolation and characterization of metal resistant microbial strain now the microbial strain i given the examples there it is there okay so i'll continue okay let's just to show okay so we have the examples here okay so isolation and characterization also we need to identify the required uh, uh, microbial strain then culturing and uh, enrichment giving food to that and making it ready for the work the microbes uh, then uh, preparation of microbial suspension the microbial suspension uh, the growth growth the growth nutrient growth and uh, these are the biology terms which is used means again giving enough for required food making a, a war for making them ready for a war that is the meaning of that then uh, this suspension is applied uh, on the uh, on the site uh, so that uh, it will form a uh, biofilm uh, on that uh, metal particle uh, so the metal only the metal side metal will be covered and it forms a biofilm or uh, it will cover it so now you see for uh, in your non to search for the metal search for the for the microbe where it is uh, uh, present from that we can uh, remove separation and the removal of metals from the contaminated site now examples uh, heavy metals like a lead like, uh, the example of microbes which are used like uh, pseudonomas uh, bacillus uh, saccharomyces uh, okay some of the example only i gave and how it can be used for cadmium it is mentioned uh, mercury it is mentioned certain stems uh, Penicillium. Uh, okay, okay, the term. Okay, you only read it out. Eh? Arsenic also. I have separated that. So these are the um, different uh, microbes which are used. Okay, no need to buy out all those things as such. And one or two examples, if you remember, so it's more than enough for, for example point of view. I, I feel so. No, no, but there is no need of buy hurting all this. Only one one example, if you remember, more than enough. After these steps, uh, then we have to remove the metals. Now we have identified uh, and uh, the microbes go and become a, uh, created a biofilm over that. Now, separation of that it is very important. 
separation of that is very important separation and removal uh, many methods are uh, used like uh, phytoremediation uh, chemical extraction uh, biosorption uh, physical removal okay so phytoremediation uh, the metal uh, uh, using a plant species called a hyperaccumulator allow them to take up metal from the environment and store them in their uh, tissues chemical extraction uh, by using uh, chelating agents like EDTA, citric acid, biosorption, uh, bio, it can be uh, harvested and biomass can be processed to recover uh, metals through techniques such as acid leaching, thermal treatment, physical removal also there, electrochemical methods also there, okay, from higher to low long duration, so these are the normal methods which are used, advantages, uh, environmental friendly, cost effectiveness, selective, effective and sustainability. Limitations like it is slow process, incomplete removal, microbial invasion, difficulty in harvesting, limited applications are there. Okay, so finally, it is myself, Dr. Prasad uh, You can contact me 797-505-4865 for uh, purchasing the study materials. I am not giving for free of cost. You can purchase it from me. Uh, hope you understand the effort that I took to produce this item. Okay, let it be. Okay, so thank you very much for watching my YouTube channel, watching this video. Please do uh, subscribe if you are not subscribed. Please do share this video to others, which will be useful for others. Thank you very much.